sign is straight. Eyes closed, adapt chin mudra. Inhale deeply. Exhale slowly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale for one time, followed by opening mantra. Oh, Yoga Chetasya Pade Navacham. Malam sare rasya chavadya kena. Yopakaroptam pravaram muninam. Patanjalim pranjaliran tosmi. Oh. Join your both palms together in front of heart center. Bow down your head towards God, towards Mother Nature. Rub your both palms. Apply an eyes. Slowly and gently while blinking, open your eyes. Om Santi. Ramesh Ramesh Under ma'am. Hello. Yes. Ramaji. Ah, yes. Bull wrong. What body body? You are from where? I am from Mumbai. You are from Mumbai. Today is your first day. Yes, yes. Today is my first day. So why you join so late? Sorry. Why you join so late? What is your course? Hmm? Come in, come in. 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 Come in. Pardon, ma'am. Yes. Give me five minutes. Heart diagram. Okay.
Pardon, ma'am, is it visible? Uh, no, only yeah, half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Yes. No visible. Yes, thank. So, what was our last point yesterday? Uh, we wrote down about inspiration and expiration, and then uh, you Has your respiration. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we completed phases of respiration. And uh, now, our next point is respiratory organs. R E S. P I R A T O R Y respiratory organs O R G A N S. Respiratory organs. There is two types of respiratory organs. There is two types of respiratory organs. First one is upper respiratory tract. Upper respiratory tract. TRSCT tract. It has three organs. It has three organs. The first one is Nasal cavity, nasal cavity or nose. You write down nose, N O S E. Write down. It provides passage. It provides passage to the air to the air from atmosphere from atmosphere to respiratory system it provides passage to air from atmosphere to respiratory system. The second organ is through pharynx, P-H-A-R-Y-N-X, that is throat, P-H-R-O-A-T, pharynx, here pharynx, is here that is throat it is a tube write down it is a tube that delivers air that delivers air
from nodes from nodes to trachea it is a tube that delivers air from nodes to trachea t r a c h e a trachea clear yes and the third organ is larynx l a r y n x l a r y n x larynx that is voice box v o i c e b o x larynx is voice box write down it is a hollow organ it is a hollow organ that allows to talk it is a hollow organ that allows to talk and make sounds and make sounds when air moves in and out when air moves in and out understand yes so these are the three organs in upper respiratory tract nose pharynx and larynx now second part is lower respiratory tract lower respiratory tract it has six organs lower respiratory tract has six organs the first one is trachea t r a c h e a first one is trachea write down it is a passage it is a passage that connects pharynx and lungs it is a passage that passes that connects pharynx and lungs known as wind pipe known as wind pipe made up of known as wind pipe made up of muscle made up of muscle 
as well as haline cartilage. Made up, made up of muscle as well as haline cartilage. Here to here, there is haline cartilage in this pipe. Okay. Clear? Yes. Second organ is bronchi, B R O N C H I. Bronchi. There is two in number tubes. There is two in number tubes at the bottom of trachea. There is two in number of tube at the bottom of trachea. Those connects into lungs. Those connect into lungs. and provide air and provide air to each lungs and provide air to each lungs next organ write down <laughs> bronchiolis and alveoli b r o n C H I O L E S bronchiolis B R O N C H I O L E S bronchiolis and alveoli A L V I O L I A L V I O L I alveoli or alveoli. Write down. These are branch tree like structure. These are tree branch, tree branch like structures inside the lungs. These are tree branch like structures inside the lungs. Known as bronchiolis, known as bronchiolis, and at the tip, at the tip of bronchiolis, at the trip, at the tip of bronchiolis, small balloon, balloon shape like structures at the tip of bronchiolis small balloon shaped structures called alveoli a l v i o l i alveoli fair exchange of gases takes place where exchange of gases takes place clear yes next organ lungs L-U-N-G-S, lungs. 
these are paired organs these are paired organs that helps in exchange of gases that helps in exchange of gases from inhaled air from inhaled air it removes oxygen from inhaled air it removes oxygen pass it into blood pass it into blood and exhale carbon dioxide and exhale carbon dioxide from inhaled air it removes oxygen pass it into blood and exhale carbon dioxide that is a function of lung next organ pleura p l e u r a p l e u r a pleura it is the outer covering of lung it is the outer covering of lung means it is lung membrane it is outer covering of lung pleura and the last organ is diaphragm d i a p h r a g m diaphragm this is the major muscle of respiratory system this is the major muscle of respiratory system which helps in respiration which helps in respiration especially in exhalation especially in exhalation clear yes so these are the respiratory organs three upper respiratory tract organs and six lower respiratory tract organs any question uh yes uh for example when we don't exhale all the oxygen it uh stays in lungs and uh is it all going to the blood or uh while we no. we can do uh the well, i'm coming that part i am coming that part just take just give me 2 minute okay okay next point write down lungs volumes lung volumes l u n g v o l u m e s lung volumes
राइट डाउन टाइडल कैपेसिटी टी आई डी ए एल टाइडल कैपेसिटी द अमाउंट ऑफ एयर द अमाउंट ऑफ एयर इन हेल्ड इन वन ब्रेथ द अमाउंट ऑफ एयर इन हेल्ड इन वन ब्रेथ इन रिलैक्स पोजिशन the amount of air inhaled in one breath in relaxed position that is 500 ml what is tidal capacity this is the amount of air that inhaled in one breath in normal position when you when we breathe normally that time in every inhalation means in every breath we take 500 ml amount of air inside and release is also 500 ml nothing remain inside okay okay can i ask about retention if we do retention retention um, yes that's a retention there is no retention inhalation and exhalation retention if you doing retention it will be forcefully not normally mm -hmm. okay there is no normal retention okay but when we practice uh, pranayama for example yeah. do do to give extension to breathe for saving the energy normally we breathe 12 to 18 times per minute but if we give retention to breathe we reduce the counting of breathing and increase our vital uh, increase our uh, energy and we can increase our life through reducing the breath counting through pranayama actually yeah. i want to ask uh, yes uh, this is about uh, natural is clear but i mean uh, if we for example breathe in and uh, some uh, some air stays in somewhere maybe in trachea or it's already in lungs and no, when no we do no air stay permanently inside we can hold okay. air for some time that mm -hmm. gives give provide us energy and vitality mm -hmm. after some time it is necessary to release we can't hold mm -hmm. air mm -hmm. entirely inside yeah. uh, yes 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 i mean between the two uh, uh, inhale and exhale yeah. when we do it for example if i uh, hold the breath and uh, i feel that not all all the inhalation came to the lungs and i can mm -hmm. hold it longer because uh, during even retention it comes like a, a, a prolonged inhalation no you can do prolong inhalation but after prolong inhalation after holding after kumbhaka mm -hmm. during exhalation all the air comes out mm -hmm. nothing is remain inside okay 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 so understood tidal capacity 
uh, it is for everyone, for adults and for kids also. Well, yeah, for kids, it, is for it is for everyone. Uh, uh, some variation are there for um, small kid. Uh, it will be some uh, lesser than 500 ml, but it is for normally for adult human. Mm -hmm. Because uh, child breath is more faster than adult. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Next is vital capacity. V I T A L. Vital capacity. <laughs> It is the maximum amount of air. It is maximum amount of air inhaled in one breath, inhaled in one breath forcefully. It is maximum amount of air inhaled in one breath forcefully that is 4500 ml means 4.5 liter is the vital capacity of lung that we can inhale forcefully forcefully we can inhale maximum 4.5 liter. So it's during pranayama if we do the... Yeah. And we can do deep gradually. Uh, while uh, we deep doing deep, deep inhalation and slow exhalation. We can inhale in between 500 ml to 4500 ml, but not exceed more than 4.5 liter. Clear? Yes, thank you. And the total lung capacity is six liter. Lung, lungs total capacity is six liter, but we can't inhale six liter. Clear? Uh, yes, and what is this rest of uh, 1,500? One, 1,500 uh, uh, remaining space is there, but uh, we don't have capacity to inhale 6 liter. We have maximum capacity for inhalation 4.5 liter. Mm -hmm. Write down next point analysis of gases in respiration. Analysis of gases in respiration.
Is it visible? The first one is inhaled air, and second row is exhaled air. Pardon, ma'am. Uh, yes, it's not uh, totally, but um, uh, I think you tell, right? I will speak. Mm -hmm. In first row, this is inhaled air. These are three columns, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, O2, N2, CO2. In inhalation, we inhale 20.97% oxygen, right now, like this. 20.97% oxygen, near about 21%. Inhalation of oxygen, 20.97% means 21%. Inhalation of nitrogen, 79%. Inhalation of nitrogen, 79%. And carbon dioxide, 0.03%. 0.03% carbon dioxide. Inhaled air, 20.97% oxygen, 79% nitrogen, 0.03% carbon dioxide. Now exhaled air, how much we exhale? 15.97% oxygen. We exhale 15.97%, near about 16% oxygen. 79% nitrogen as we inhale, we exhale 79% oxygen. We inhale 79% not oxygen, nitrogen. We inhale 79% nitrogen and exhalation also 79%. Exhalation of nitrogen also 79%, same as inhalation. And we exhale carbon dioxide 5.03%. We exhale carbon dioxide 5.03%. We inhale 0.03% carbon dioxide, but exhale 5.03% carbon dioxide. Means we using 5% of oxygen in every inhalation. In every breath, we use 5% oxygen that converts into carbon dioxide. Clear? Yes, and, and uh, all others uh, are are the different gases? Other different gases are very small amount in atmosphere. Mm -hmm. These three gases are major gases. And mm -hmm. oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Uh, in atmosphere, carbon dioxide is present at the amount of 0.03%. Other gases are less than 0.03%. Those are negligible. Mm -hmm. So, we it is without what uh, it is without masks because now everybody wears masks yeah. <laughs> it may be <laughs> different yes <laughs> it is a normal amount of uh, gases in atmosphere 20.97%, 79% nitrogen, and 0.03% carbon dioxide, which we inhale in every breath that presents in atmosphere. And we exhale 15.97% oxygen, 79% nitrogen, and 5.03% carbon dioxide. Means we use oxygen one, not nitrogen. We use oxygen. 
in every breath, five percent oxygen we use in every breath that converts into carbon dioxide. Clear? Yes, and I think with mask we uh, exhale or well, inhale more carbon dioxide. Carbon right? dioxide, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any other question? No. Okay. So today's class is the last class. Thank you for completing the course. Thank you very much. Very, uh, so many new information for me. <laughs> And uh, thank you for uh, joining us. Thank you. So sit in any comfortable position for closing the session, closing the class. Spine straight. Adapt chin mudra. Eyes close. Inhale deeply for one time home. Followed by closing mantra. Oh. Bhavan. <laughs> Sukhina Sarve Santone Ramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pasyanto Maka Sedukha Bhag Bhave Sante, Sante, Sante. Join your both palms together in front of heart center. Bow down your head towards God, towards Mother Nature. Rub your both palms. Apply an eye. Slowly and gently while blinking, open your eyes. Om Santi. Om Santi. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.